on after curfew, boys. What would your mother say? It is the year 2020, and the world has changed. In 2020, times are tough. This man's tougher. I'm looking for Detective Zach Stone. You found him, Harry. I'm sure everyone here is aware of the great legend Harry Ferret, Chief of Detectives, the most decorated man of our time, and more importantly, a close personal friend of my family's for 15 years. Good to see you again, Zach. Good to see you. You don't age, not one bit. <laughs> How long has it been since I've seen you? About three years or something? Oh, thereabout. Yeah, listen, are you still living back in that... Yeah, uh... yeah, yeah. Rotaplex district. <laughs> same me, same place. You know, I'm not much for change. I can't believe that place is still there. So, what can I do for you today, Harry? You heard about those two punks that got iced on Baker Street last night? Yeah. Can't really understand how that happened. Seems they had an accomplice who was picked up later. It's now over at the Witness Protection Plan, Metro Prison. So, what do you want me to do? Transfer her to high security. Her? Mel LeMays is a woman? Melanie LeMays. Don't underestimate a bad guy just because she's a woman. She's involved with a double murder and grand theft. <clears throat> you know, man, those things are gonna kill you. Hell, I hope I live long enough for a cigarette to kill me. All right, Harry, you got it. make friends that easily? Who are you? Prison escort service. I'm the lucky guy that gets to take you to high security. Well, the food couldn't be any worse than it is here. This chef should be arrested for attempted murder. He was. 
Kids that got murdered last night was your brother. I'm sorry. Listen, don't try to get through to me. You don't know what sorry means. Not that it would mean anything to you, but my brother's gone too. Now, you saw the guy who murdered your brother, but you won't identify him. Why? Listen, you don't have to be so tough, okay? I mean, if I were in your spot, hell, I'd be scared to death. You're not in my spot. So I guess you need a car, huh? Yeah, I gotta take this little lady across town and I just need something that gets me there, okay? All my vehicles perform, detective. I tune them myself. Yeah, right. Yeah. Now this one, she's a real beauty. Only 300,000 original miles. Great, fine. Sign me out for it. I'm not getting in this. Why? What's wrong? Savoy death trap. Hey, watch what you say, kid. I know my cars. Oh, well, what do you know about tires? Hey, what? what have you done to my car? It's a retread worse than his personality. Pick whatever car you want, detective. But get her the hell out of my garage! <laughs> what are you laughing at? Just that expression on Foyt's face. <laughs> I never could stomach that guy. <laughs> you, you don't seem much like a cop. I take it that's a compliment? Yeah, it is. Of course, I didn't always feel that way. Where I grew up, cops were people's friends. Where are you from? A very small town in Kansas. So small, half the people live there never heard of it. <laughs> so, what brought you to Metroplex? Same reason as all poor people to make a living. My dad fixed cars, so I guess that's where I get it from. You sure fixed Voight's car. Where are your folks? They're still there. Mel. How'd you get hooked up with the bad guys? I know a cop is gonna find this hard to believe, but I wasn't in on that robbery. I overheard my brother on the phone that night, and he mentioned that address. I drove there and I waited for him. This time, I was gonna make him quit. I wish you'd succeeded. Yeah, so do I. Once, tried to get out of it. He was frightened. He said the boss was powerful. That he wasn't untouchable, even by the police. Maybe he killed him. Can you tell me who he is? Mel, look, if you know, Tell me. I want to help. Get out! Ring. I think I'll make it. Someone apparently wants you very dead. I 
couldn't get much closer. I suppose I should thank you. Let's just say you owe me one. <laughs> Better get out of here before they come back. Back? Yeah. There's only one place where I can think I can get you to where you'd be safe, and I can think. Can you walk? I can run. No, walk's fine. Zach. Yeah, over here. Look, man. You know how I feel about other people coming by my lab. Yeah, I know. I don't know how I let you talk me into these things. Well, look at it this way, man. I think how boring your life would be without me, huh? <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. Who's the guy? Oh, that's Mel. Oh, and by the way... My clothes never look so good. Oh, now it's okay, huh? What is this? It's a pulse rifle. Just insert this, and it's ready to go. It's something I'm polishing up for the military. It's got enough firepower to take out a tank. Or two. <laughs> Fascinating. It's H. What's that? Uh, he's an old friend of ours. I'm not old. I'm dead. We're looking for a murderer, Mr. H. You think you could put together a composite if this young lady gave you the details? Of course I can. I think of myself as the Michelangelo of the digital composition set. Go, baby. He was scruffy. He had a beard. And, um, hard mouth. Like a straight line. Almost no lips. A cigarette. One of those fancy jobs rich women usually smoke. Disgusting affectation. Mr. H. Don't mind him. Continue. He wore a dark coat. I think you call it a trench coat. And those eyes. I can still see them. They were icy. Just no feeling there at all. Hey, it's okay, Mel. I owe your brother one. Zach? This is gonna take all night. E.B., what do you got? I need more data, Zach. Okay. People are trying to kill her. And they always seem to know where she is, which is why I brought her here. How would they know where she is? If they had police access. Then it's possible the killer could be a cop, right? If he's a police officer, I can access those files. Okay, E.B., compare the composite against the police bios. How long will that take? Patience, lad. The thing one learns from being dead is to appreciate the value of time. How about this one? That's him. No, no, wait a minute. That's not him. This is Chief of Detectives Harry Fair at Metroplex Division 1. I'm telling you, that's him. Look, Mel, you're dead wrong. I've known this guy for 15 years of my life. You're just protecting him because he's a cop. I just made a mistake, that's all. You're all the same. It's like my brother said, he's untouchable. Even by you. We can find out more, Zach. If Ferret is your man, I can access information on him from the police computer. This is ridiculous. Easy, my boy. Very interesting. What'd you find, Mr. H? It seems Ferret has been on medical leave this past month. No, he just gave me the assignment to take Mel to high sec just this morning. Zach, uh, you didn't check with headquarters to see if it was real, did you? <laughs> no, man. 
Nobody would, and this is Harry Ferret. A quick probe of the gentleman's finances has revealed sudden influxes of money into three separate accounts. That's why, uh... Nobody found the diamonds the night Mel's brother was killed. Oh, man, Harry's been hiring kids to pull his heists. And then pocketing the spoils. So why did he off the two kids? If you don't mind me playing Sherlock Holmes for a moment, I'd guess they were trying to quit the business. Mel, is your brother... Oh, my God. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't let anybody else in this lab. Zach, she took the pulse rifle. She went after Ferret, man. Zach, you've got to stop her. That pulse rifle could take out half the city. She fired the rifle. The control panel's out. I'm switching the system to backup. What now? We're stuck here until E.B. and I can figure out a way to override the control panel. How long, E.B.? At least 20 minutes. Zach, you better get dressed. The heat is on, gentlemen. I think it's time for you two to disappear. Or you'll wind up like the other two. I don't want you to leave with the police department. This is where you hired my brother. This is what you'll pay for. I think it's finally time for even me to leave. All of this. We have a visitor. So nice of you to drop by. How'd you find me? followed my brother here the night he promised me to quit this rotten life you forced him into. You're the one that tried to make Lane quit. You should have left your brother alone that night. If you hadn't have been there, you wouldn't have seen me. And your life would have been considerably longer. So you'll kill me like you killed Lane? How could a cop live with that? You want to know how I felt about the people I had to live with? Hustlers. Thieves. Killers. They made the fortunes. And me? I was a good cop for 15 years. that night, except Ferret had the gun. Poor Lane was lying there helpless. Look, you don't know what you're doing. Let the law handle this. 
Come on. Otherwise, you're as bad as he is. It's over now. It's all over. Viacom 